Oh, something I, I forgot. Um, I just got docked here and I was thinking, well, geez, I didn't show them uh, what the proceeds of mining are, what the purpose of mining is. It's not just to mine and uh, fill up your, your station cargo with ore. It is to refine it into minerals. I'm going to show you that real quick and then I'll show you ice mining. So I just emptied uh, my hulk, or there's one more left here. Emptying my hulk out here. And then I'm going to right click and stack them all. And then I'm going to sort them. Okay. So here's, um, here's all the, the ore I've got sitting in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of it. And I'm going to right click and refine. And here we go. So this on the left here is all the ore that we have selected. And this is what we're going to get. Now, there's some details here. So a station will have a base yield of refine. Most stations have 50%, but some stations have 30, I believe, 30%. Uh, the net yield is what I get with all my skills. It does say 99.5, but it's 100%. So I don't know why it says 99.5, but I get 100%. Standings are important because if your standings are low with the corporation of the station you're at, so this is an NPC station I'm sitting in, it, it is a specific corporation that I have a specific reputation with. If you don't have high standings with the corporation, they will take a bit of your of your of the refine, and that's going to be right in here. They will take a percent. My standing is high, so that's why they take nothing. So we take nothing. And um, oh, so there's the we take zero percent. Now, if my refine skill is on high enough, then there'd be unrecoverable amount. But my my refine skill is maxed. So it unrecoverable is zero. So I'm getting all of it. So here's the amount. Now this is not the amount that we just mined with this video. This is other stuff I've been mining. Like for example, this solid pyro. Remember I was, I was saying that pyro is the best to mine. Well, that's why I have the most pyro. I have 1.15 million pyro sitting in here. We did not mine that this video. <laughs> so this is all the stuff I had just mined. Um, so it's about it's about 5.7 tri million titanium there. All right, so that'll be from the Veld and from the Pyro and the Scordite. And this, and this Pyrite is from the Scordite. And I think there might be some in the other ones. The Plagio has the mechs. And there's some Plagio, or there's some uh, mech Salin in the uh, Pyro. And the Nox is all the Pyro. And that's the, uh, the one that's worth the most. And yeah, this one's worth about, what, 400 each. Whereas this is like 3.2 each. This is like 4.5 each. This is about 28 each or 27 each. So this is the, the good one, the Nox. So then you've got reprocess, and then you come down here and you take a look at what you got. So here it is here. So there's the minerals. Except I had some titanium sitting here, so that's a bit more than what we got from the refine. But there it is there. So that's the proceeds. Then you can take those minerals and you can sell it on the market, or you can build something with it. But that'll be a whole other video. So now I'm going to show you ice mining. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I just used my Hulk again for a nice mining ship. You can ice mine with any um, ice uh, mining barge. You cannot ice mine with the ship that I showed you earlier, except for the Hulk, which I'm using right now, and the Retriever you can use. Um, the best ship to, to ice mine with, someone just uh, bumped into me there. The best mine to ice, uh, ice mine with is the Mackinac, which is probably what this guy's using. But I, my Mackinac is far away, so I'm, I'm not going to bother using it. This is the T2 version of the Retriever. It has two um, spots for strip miners. Uh, but the Mackinac gets two cubes, two ice cubes per cycle. Whereas the Hulk gets one ice cube per cycle. But I have three, so I'm going to get three per cycle, right? Because I've got three, uh, three miners here. The Mackinac is going to get four per cycle total. Okay, so we're warping into an ice field here. There's a crap load of people here all the time. Most of them are AFK because ice mining is an AFK activity. And the reason for that is the cycle time, and I'll show you that right now. The cycle time is 302 seconds. So what is that? That is, uh, what, four or five minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes cycle time, so that sucks, right? That is with, I'm pretty sure, I think I maxed out. So that is maxed out on your own with a Hulk. Um, with a Mackinac, I think it's 295 seconds. 
So a little bit better, and you get more cubes, right? Per cycle, you're getting four cubes as opposed to three uh, per, per cycle. So let's pick a, a ice cube here. So they're just massive ice blocks, pretty much. And they have huge quantities. You don't deplete an ice rock, pretty much. Like even these tiny ones have just ridiculous numbers in them. And I'll show you that. Actually, I guess I can show you that right now. Put in the survey scanner here. And it'll show me what's around. So there's white glaze here. That's the type of ice in this region of space. Each race of space has uh, different ice. So there's four different types of ice because there's four different races. So I'll just pick one here. So this little tiny one has 57,000 cubes in it. And if each cube takes five minutes, well, you can figure out uh, how long it would take to mine that thing out completely. If I'm getting three cubes every five minutes and there's 57,000 cubes, well, that's a long, long time. So, um, so let's start these up here. So there's ice harvester number one. So it looks a little bit different, but it looks pretty much the same as the mining ones, doesn't it? Here's number two. Okay, and here's number three. There it is. So there's the ice miners going. And then, yeah, you pretty much just, you know, go read a book, uh, go watch TV, uh, maybe go and uh, speak to your family. You know, if you play this game, you might want to do more of that. Or if you play World of Warcraft, you might want to do uh, more of that. Uh, but yeah, pretty much you're AFK. Now, there are rats that come by. As you can see, there's one down there harassing some people. Um, so you'll want to have a drone out. Although I don't think if, if you've got some, if you, like you can turn on, this is an invulnerability field, so this increases the shield resistances. You can turn that thing on and pretty much a rat, even two rats, even three rats, won't be able to blow you up even if they were shooting you all day just based on your shield um, regeneration rate. So you could just sit here all day. Um, there, I don't think I've, I guess there, there will be jamming ships that come out, come by once in a while. So you could also turn on your uh, anti-jamming device. Although still I get jammed once in a while even with that thing on. Um, yeah, so that's ice mining. You cannot use drones. Drones don't do anything right. Uh, the reason is, is because the ice cubes are huge. And I guess I'll, I should show you that. But I'm not going to sit here and, and talk up and ramble on about nothing for three minutes, three more minutes. I will come back when uh, I've got some... Actually, one thing I could ramble on about is you notice here that people mine in teams. As you can see over here, there's a crap load of people over here with all Mackinaws, looks like, except you will see in the group. So if I can find it. Actually, I think it's just down here. Someone's got a Cobetter. Someone's ice mining in a Cobetter. You will see once in a while an Orca. Here's a... It's, it's, it, I guess it's considered a mining barge, but it's it's a um, it doesn't mine on its own. It is a boosting ship, and what that does is it increases a fleet. So you get into a fleet, which is like a group in any other game, you, or a party. You form a party, and if you have an orca in your party, that orca can boost everyone in the group, and therefore um, the boost for ice harvesting is cycle time reduction, which is a good thing, right? Because it's ridiculous. It's already five minutes long. So um, so that's a good one. And if you get a full boost with, with maxed out skills, I believe the, the quickest cycle time for an ice harvester with everything maxed out, I think it's 220 something. So you're getting down to just over three minutes, which is pretty good. That's pretty good for ice cubes. So that's, a, that's the maxed out you can get. And of course you want to use a Mackinac, not a Hulk, like I'm doing. You certainly don't want to use a Corvetter, whatever that Corvetter went. So that is the setup. So there's a pretty neat little fleet over there, uh, ice harvesting. And actually, um, there used to be, uh, and there probably still is, there's suicide bombers that come in, and they'll bring a ship right near them, and then fire off smart bombs and blow them all up. <laughs> so usually, I don't know if you'd really want to sit in a group like that so much. Maybe they want to space themselves out a little bit more. The problem is, though, you need to be in range of the Orca. Not for the boost. The boost is for a whole system, whole star system. The reason is, is you, as you get ice, you want to be able to dump the ice in the orca because the orca holds a whole bunch. I'm not sure what the maxed out orca cargo space is for ice, but it's a lot. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I'm not even sure if I should ballpark it here because it probably be wrong. It's, it's certainly over 100 cubes, let's just say that. And there's something else. Oh, there is ice harvesting modules you can put on. So I just have cargo rigs on right now because basically, if I'm mining, if I'm ice mining on my own, 
I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to do something, read a book or something. So I want to have the highest cargo I can so I can leave this AFK as long as I can. So right now, as you can see, I have 18,000. If I'm getting three cubes a cycle, that means I can sit here for six cycles um, without any intervention, which means I can leave this for half an hour, right? Because it's five minutes per cycle. I can leave this for half an hour and um, I don't have to touch it. So this is a good AFK setup. Um, with a Mackinac, the best you can do is 14,000 M3s, which means because you're getting four cubes per cycle, the best you can do is, well, after three cycles, you get 12, and then the fourth cycle, you're only going to get two cubes because you've only got 14,000 cargo, right? You've only got two more cargo after the 12 previous cubes. So with that, you're only getting, well, four cycles, I suppose, um, so that's still about um, 20 minutes, but you're really only getting three cycles, or three and a half cycles, let's say, and then, whoops, and then you should uh, get get back because now you're wasting time. So here we go. So we've gotten the first cube, the second cube, and the third, third cube, third cube. There we go. So that's ice mining, people. Uh, like I said, you want to use the Mac and all. That's the ultimate. Uh, the ultimate mining ship. The Hulk is the ultimate uh, asteroid mining ship, but the ultimate ice mining ship is the Mackinac. That's, they have two, two lasers going on. So then you sit here for, um, I don't know, I guess half an hour for me, and you fill up your cargo and then you go and dump it. And I guess I should show you, um, I guess I'll show you what uh, you get from refining ice. Uh, I'll show you what the purpose is. So I'll turn these off and I'll get nothing, right? Because I have to have a full cycle to get one cube. Although if you're using a Mackinac and you are getting two cubes a cycle, if you do cancel it half past halfway, you will get one cube for that cycle. But with the Hulk, you only get one cube for the whole cycle. So if you cancel it midway, you're getting nothing. So that's why I only have three. So I'll turn these things off here. All right, so we're gonna dock up here show you what kind of things we'll get from the ice. The ice cubes. The white Docking glaze. Docking request accepted. Alright, so we're getting in the station here. Okay, we're slowly getting in. Slowly getting in. Slowly loading our little dude. Okay, so I've already got a whole bunch of cubes here. I know I did not mine this. I, I don't know how long it would have taken me on my own. A long time. Well, I just got a bunch of cubes here. I'm going to refine them, show you. So you can refine minimum one cube and then max as much as you like. So again, uh, this station, I've got full standing, so they take nothing. And I've got full uh, refining skill, so I lose nothing. And so this is what you get. Uh, these little things, you don't build anything with them. These are fuel. These are types of fuel. Player-owned stations, which I'll show you in another video for that. Player-owned stations use these fuels. This is not a player-owned station. And the strontium is used in, um, I, as well, uh, the player-owned stations for another reason, which I don't want to do in this video. As well as there's some ships that do use strontium. And I guess ships use these as well, except for heavy water. I don't think any ships use heavy water. Maybe the Titans. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. But other ships do use these other things. Uh, do use these fuel. All right. So I hope this mining progression tutorial has been uh, of some help to some new players. And uh, go ahead and post your comments and let me know what you think. Any questions or uh, any anything I didn't tackle in this video? Any misconceptions I may have uh, I may have uttered. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of Eve Online and mining and your time.